Budget Angler here, out and underway on the Norfolk Broads. Um, can't think of anywhere I'd rather be right now. The sun is more or less out, um, proper sort of Simpsons sky and Simpsons style cloud there. Uh, very, very windy. We're expecting the wind to pick up a little bit mid-morning, but we're going to be underway and, I, you know, it's not going to be that bad. Hopefully we get a bit of fishing done. I've had a couple of, had a little go last night. I've got, got, I've got my brother, his partner and their son out uh, with me this week on Evening Shadow. Uh, he, he, my nephew, he's, he's eight, he hasn't been fishing um, very often, so he have been teaching him. So I haven't had a really much of a chance to do anything myself. Um, had a go first thing this morning, had a few little skimmers, uh, nice rud, a couple of roach, um, just on bread and maggot. Uh, alternating between a float and a little feeder um, and last night um, yeah the, uh, my nephew was sort of you know it was a, it was a fisher chuck on the maggot only tiddlers but I think he enjoyed himself um, so hopefully we'll get some proper some proper fishing done and get some videos for you somewhere different for you not by the docks of London not by the canal um, the reason I'm sort of if I sound a bit subdued is not because I'm down in the dumps or anything like that I just don't want to speak too loudly and if I go into full budget angler mode I do project my voice quite a bit and uh, there's some other boats moored not that far away and it's only about quarter to five in the morning so I don't want to wake anyone up and I don't want to wake anyone up on my boat it's my I'm out with my brother sister-in-law and their son um, this is the second morning uh, here um, done a bit of fishing had some nice skimmers had a lovely perch yesterday I'll put a picture of that up now um, and lots of rod and roach small stuff um, when I have a go this morning just you know Bit of, bit of budget bait wise on um, maggot and uh, and bread and um, see what we can get out just uh, this is the river ant um, this is just a wild moor in here just uh, very nice just a couple of trees to tie to um, yeah and uh, we'll see if we can see if we can rustle up a bit of a Norfolk Broads fishing video for you there you go guys lovely Norfolk Broads perch there get his fin up Lovely looking fish, and um, I know they go a hell of a lot bigger than that in here. This was just on a couple of maggots on the little feeder rod. Well, someone's in a hurry, guys. Must have to get his boat back Monday morning. Brilliant. Thanks for that, mate. We're going to wake up every boat on the river. An extremely fat perch there guys I don't know if that's ready for spawning or if that's it doesn't feel like it, it doesn't feel that heavy it feels like it might be full of air or something and that really strange funny shape might just be a genetic thing but that fish actually this fish fell to a very small gudgeon that I was live baiting just under a little a little bobber float lovely big mouth on him Morning guys, just um, just going to update you, uh, Just it's about 6 o'clock, just left uh, Gay Stave, so I think when I last checked in I was up on the Ant fishing on a wild mooring, yesterday did a little bit of fishing but not much, did a little bit of Gay Stave but I didn't film anything because it was just tiddler bashing really with my nephew um, and I do loads of that and there was nothing very notable um, going on there fishing wise bit of a bit of a shame because I've had some good sessions there I've had some really big rods and just this morning as we were leaving there were some some rods sort of pecking at bread and a couple of them were you know reasonable size so I think they probably are bigger there but of course you know they they shoal around these fish so um, it is what it is so yesterday popped up to Stalham I uh, went to say hello to the lads working on Broad Ambition um, Mr. Miss Robin the Rascal, so I'll say hello to you now on a video. Um, he uh, he was out buying stuff, but I'm hoping I can get back and see them Thursday. And we were, we had planned to go out and meet for a drink. Um, they were going to take out Broad Ambition to test the uh, modifications to the 
boat's TV aerial to get out somewhere where the signal wasn't um, blocked by the shed. So um, that didn't happen. They obviously had other other, other bits and bobs to do. Um, early one this morning. I'm going to take a cruise south, I think. Um, see what the fishing is like down there. I haven't been filming as much as I was would have hoped, um, but hopefully towards the end of the week I'll get a bit more done. Um, it's, you know, fishing wise, it's, a, it's not just a fishing holiday. This for me, it's a family holiday, and so I've, you know, you end up doing other things. I like, I like cruising as well. Um, I like just just driving about on the boat. Um, it's, you know, it's just just another part of the enjoyment of the Norfolk Broads for me. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll get we'll be able to get something a bit later, maybe sort of early evening into the evening. We'll we'll have a go on Alton Broad somewhere like that. Um, there's some cracking bream in there. And I've had a few few decent eels out there before as well. So fingers crossed we can get a bit more footage for you guys. And I'll uh, see you all in a bit. Well, there you go guys a lovely little autumn broad perch um, it's the only fish I've had when I've had the camera going I was t showing my nephew earlier and I got a lovely bream and um, and, a, and my brother got a really nice roach it's absolutely typical I've come out the heavens have opened I'm in full waterproof gear and it's the only fish I've managed to show you hi guys just um, gonna give you a bit of an update um, it's now Thursday back on the northern broad so I, it's been so wet the last few days that um, I've not been able to probably get loads of people on the front end yet. Um, I've had the air cut, you might have noticed that. Um, I've been done in all the broads. Um, it was nice actually, nice to get that done. Um, yeah, did, did a little bit of fishing, but the weather's just been atrocious. It's just rained non stop for the last well, two and a half days. There's just a dry spell now, but there's you can see all the dark clouds. There'll be another one blowing through in a minute, just these squally little showers. Um, and the play, you know, I've not managed to get places where there's been some reasonable banks to fish from, and, and fishing from the boat is a bit of a faff. So I've not really done anywhere near as much fishing as I was hoping to have done. You might have seen um, one perch I caught at Alton Broad. I had a couple of others, but didn't uh, didn't get it on camera. Um, yesterday I didn't fish at all. Uh, my brother had a go at Reedham, just fishing a little. Uh, just a little running rig set up just on the bottom just with maggots and he got he got a tiny little bootlace eel um, and that was it really but I, I was visiting an aunt and uncle in Reedham so didn't really have any time to do that either um, so yeah but back to the, well we're going to go back to the marina picking up a mate and then I'm going to head to um, uh, Wilmac Water tonight um, it, I've always had good fish in there so fingers crossed I'll get a bit of footage and we'll actually get a few few more fish and make this a, a reasonable fishing video. Um, I'm gonna have a go have something to eat in the King's Arms in uh, Ludham. I went to the went to the went to the Nelson yesterday in um, Reedham. First pub I've been in in three months um, so that was nice. They were serving in disposable cups for, and they've got it all geared up one entrance in and one exit out and it's all sort of taped off and you've got to stand behind the tape to get served it wasn't very busy but the weather's turned obviously so um you know it's a shame shame for them they get to reopen after the heat wave and uh and they're probably not getting the level of business they might have hoped for but anyway there we go i've waited on, on enough for now and i'll see you all out and hopefully get some more fish for you There you go guys, lovely little law caught perch there, absolutely lovely. I'll boat yard, yield, yielding results and the heavens have just opened. So um, I'm pleased I managed to get a law caught perch on the broads uh, this year. There we go. Another one, another one there guys, beautiful. Slightly paler colour on this one. Is that there you go guys, beautiful little roach there. Um, the perch seems to have turned off the lure, so I'm just sat here and having a go with uh, the float rod. So they do everything there. I could have a look on Just Eat as well. Yeah, well, I haven't I on that one. Uh, I'll have a look. 
Yeah, I haven't. Oh, blimey, this is turning out. I thought it was going to be tiddlers. I mean, this isn't massive, but it's a... Yeah. There you go, guys. Lovely Norfolk Broad skimmer there. That's brilliant. I'm, I'm pleased I had a dangle to be honest. It's been one of those weeks where I haven't had as much fishing as I wanted to do, so this is brilliant. Another lovely little roach there guys, absolutely brilliant. Not as big as they'd go in here obviously, but still a nice fish. Well guys, that was the broads. Um, as you can see, I'm by the water again, but not, not in Norfolk. I didn't film an outro when I was up there. I was, um, I just got, I was sorting the boat out and all the rest of it. And then I got home and thought, oh, I hadn't filmed an outro. So I got back last Saturday. Uh, it's now Friday, so I've been back at work all week. Just having a little session down the docks and obviously I'll put a video out of tonight I had some nice uh, nice fish but um, as for the broads didn't, didn't get as much fishing in as I was really hoping but um, you know if family holiday that can happen um, I was just waiting for them people to go past I always get really self-conscious when people walk, walk past and I'm chatting away and they sort of let you just see their eyes like swivel around and think who the hell is he talking to um, yeah so uh, it was a, it was a lovely week it's probably ended up more of like a weird little holiday blog but I'll put it out anyway um, hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have do it the thumbs up um, if you're watching this on the Norfolk Broads um, sort of video then do have a look and subscribe my, to my channel there's a few other Broads fishing videos and, uh, and obviously I put out a lot of other fishing videos so please hit that subscription and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one cheers guys fish on Thank you.